Welcome to the Uncut Chronicles. I'm Crystal. I'm Andy. And we are coming to you with information and topics every day, such as culture, trending topics, shit your mammy probably don't need to hear. So come on in with us so we can share more with you about our day. Hey, everybody, I'm Crystal. And I'm Andy. And we are here on the Uncut Chronicles, cutting up today. Y'all. What we talking about? I don't like the way y'all are talking to my girl, Serena Williams. I don't like it. I don't like it. Recently, Serena has gotten um, some plastic surgery done. We, we could tell. I think she got a little lip filler, a little, you know, face stuff done. Maybe some filler, maybe not. And um, do I like the look? Not really. But do I still think she's a beautiful black woman? Yes. And I feel like the insecurity got to her in the comments mm-hmm. that specifically black men mm-hmm. would make towards her, calling her an ape, calling her a gorilla, saying she looks like a man, saying that she's a tranny because they felt like her physique was too masculine and her facial features were too masculine. Are you mad that she has more muscles than you, Jaquan? Let me tell you something. What the fuck? She can bitch press you and your mama. Like, just because you eat Cheetos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, drink red dye Kool-Aid number 45, <laughs> and choose to not drink any water so you are pissing highlighter yellow, what gives you the audacity? It's the ones that can't even see their dick over their stomach that's in here telling this woman that she looks like a man and telling her that she's cut like a man. And you know what's crazy? I've seen the same type of men do the same thing to Shikari Richardson mm. because of her physique. She runs fucking track. She's an athlete. If you are shaped like SpongeBob SquarePants or a highlighter, please sit down to the stage left. We were not talking to you because I'd be doggone if I am an athlete and a man that can't even spell athletics mm. tries to condemn me for anything. <laughs> Stay in your crayon box, please. Okay, here's my thing. I do agree that the work she had done is a bit different. Mm -hmm. It's a little interesting, and I don't really like it. But whatever, we're here now. Like, we all know that people knew the outcome of their results. They would probably choose differently. I think everybody who has work done, they knew the after. They would choose differently on the previous, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that Serena has had beautiful, beautiful features, Mm -hmm. which I think she gets quite a bit of it from her father. And I think it's gorgeous. And I love it. Um, I wish that people in her own community and other communities didn't attack her the way they have. Uh, She did a post recently where she was trying some clothes on and I commented on it. And um, there was a lot of action on that comment. And I told her, thank you. Thank you for showing us that you try on your clothes like we do. The shit didn't fit. Girl, you work out a little bit more. We'll come back to the month later, change the routine, try again. You know, I really appreciate that because we're human and we all are trying to be better. Right. You know, so she's showing you that, yes, I'm an athlete, but if I don't continuously work out my athletic body at the same rate I used to and aging, because aging changed the way your body responds, mm-hmm. that she has put a little extra work, probably far more than most of you ever will. Mm-hmm. And so with that being said, uh, I'm really glad that the person that she's married to, her husband, uh, seems like he loves her unconditionally. Um, but with that being said, I hope that loving him as much as she seems to does not make her contradict or change the look of her own beautiful black beauty. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you put yourself in spaces where you are sometimes the minority and not the majority, you find yourself trying to secretly conform in ways Mm -hmm. and it's not even intentional. You just want to blend in a little bit better. And I don't think that's ever going to work for her. And so some of the things we've seen have been a little unsettling to me because she was so beautiful and she still is. I just think she needs to walk in that beauty. Um, I think that the way she's been talked about is completely disrespectful and unfair. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. And I and I was looking back on like older pictures of her, yeah. and I said, "Where the hell did y'all see a man in her ever? Because her because her her arms were cut because she had shoulders that defied the gods, including Angela Bassett. Like she was beautiful, and Very. she still is. And yep. I was like, "Where are y'all seeing this masculine look? To, like I wasn't seeing it. I thought she looked very feminine. She looks." cut because she obviously because she plays tennis she works out she's an athlete but I was like I'm not seeing what people are seeing and I feel like a lot of times especially towards darker women people if they're cut or they're in shape or anything of that nature they tend to like mat like masculate them and I don't understand I don't understand that she doesn't look masculine to me no neither does her sister 
No, I don't think so. Now, are they the traditional pretty face girls uh, or what I think a beauty standard could be for a pretty face? Um, I don't know what that is for certain people. Are subjective. they women? That, yeah, very subjective. And they're women who have a, a very beautiful, distinctive ethnic look that I personally love. I love strong features on a woman. Um, I think that's what makes them beautiful. And I think that's what they've held on to for so long, both of them. But Serena's very transparent. She takes on a lot of journeys with her. She mm-hmm. loves fashion. Does it all go well? Mm-mm. But um, I, I would love to show up and help with that because um, I think she has a beautiful figure. I'm just saying. And um, yeah, so I think I need to get up off your girl. Okay. And I think that she's trying things just like half y'all do. I mean, you try to do a look and you hope it works out. You got to go in public to see if it works. And she goes out there and the shit don't work. And the difference is, is that she's famous and y'all are not. Period. And she can undo that if she really wanted to. She got the money to. You can't fix that face. So I I just, and then I think also people don't give her a grace. She just had kids. I don't think people realize that either. Your face changes when you have kids. Oh, my God. Your face changed. Like, I, I know mine have changed. Like, mine is me getting surgery. But, like, my face has changed a lot since I've had kids. Oh, yeah. And so I'm like... Things change. Yeah, like, your body changed, your face changed, your hormones change, your whole entire face, your mind, everything. So your I skin just, changes, your hair yeah. changes, your nose expands, and it deflates. Then things get flaky. Girl. Oh, my God. I'm like, the ups and downs. And I, and I just... If y'all just keep your man milk to yourself sometimes, you know, we wouldn't have to go through all these problems. But here we are, you know. Uh Y'all up here giving yogurt to the world and then you want to talk about somebody. I mean, the audacity. And there's no grace. There is no grace. And and that's why I couldn't, like, imagine being a celebrity. What if the man milk is really what makes all those things change in us? What if man milk came with, like, a warning label, like an instruct, like, nutritional warning? This one will give you acne. Well, you know this what? will make your nose spread. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and this if will I'm make wrong, your hair fall out. tell me if I'm wrong, y'all. But scientifically, when men do give you that, their DNA is a part of you oh, for the rest time. of your life. And it's some of this DNA we need to be giving back. Look, Girl. I'm purging and detoxing on a daily, quite frankly. Because <laughs> some of y'all that can't never come back. It, hell. <laughs> Purge. <laughs> Go back to the basics. Factory reset, 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 Run reset. the miles back on it. Because <laughs> let me tell you, if I knew some things, I, yeah, I some of y'all were fun. You know. mama going to take a time out. <laughs> <laughs> Reinsert back in utero. <laughs> like, she, Put them back. <laughs> when I took a time out. But you know what? You know who else is married to um, a gentleman and her look, um, I think, has equally become just as beautiful as Serena's husband, Eve. Mm-hmm. Eve um, has matured gracefully and she looks uh, very, very pretty. And I feel the same way about Serena. I just think that Serena gives y'all a very raw, uncut version of herself. Like she's just so comfortable being herself that when she go on live with y'all or she's doing a video, no, she did not make sure her face was beat before she got on because she really doesn't care. And I think there's beauty in that. Yes. She's not trying to lie to y'all all the time. Y'all done seen her outside sweaty with beads in her hair, playing tennis, screaming braids flying like for her to try to be anything else that wouldn't really be it wouldn't be her it wouldn't be her it wouldn't be accurate to the beautiful part of Compton that she's from Mm -hmm. so we have to be careful about aligning ourselves to the beauty standards of the others because that's not who we are Mm -hmm. for some of us that's not where we come from and to pick up these very materialistic sabotaging um washed ethnic ways is quite deplorable and disgusting in my opinion so I really really adore her and think the world of her and I I love how she just gives us gives us the real who she is you know and I feel like a lot of times because of so much celebrity worship and so much of what we see on social media our expectations of people are so unrealistic like you were saying like it's just so unrealistic and I feel like it's almost like People desire people to keep it real and be real with them. But at the same time, they hate it. Yep. They hate it. And like, like same with like Shakari. Like Shakari has been very transparent and very real in her journey about everything that has happened to her and everything she's endured. And the comments that people say about Shakari are absolutely insane. And I'm like, this one has been so vulnerable with everybody with losing her, you know, losing her support system you know, her kind of her fall from grace when she had smoked weed and wasn't able to go to the Olympics and everything that has happened to her. 
And people, the stuff people say under her comments is saying how ugly she is, how her nails look ghetto and she looks so tacky and she looks dirty and and all sorts of things. I have Y'all never... Y'all called that baby dirty? Called her dirty, said she looks dirty, said she looks like a tranny and she, all I've types never, of stuff. Uh, have y'all never rolled the tape back and watched Flojo? Like, okay. She literally has an extremely similar style to Flojo. And I love that for her. I love it. I love it. I love her braids. Her. I love her fun colors that she wears, her fun hair that she has. And I'm like, why are... Like, what's the issue? I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Like, what's the what's the issue, and why is why do y'all feel so comfortable degrading and demeaning, you know, black women, specifically like black women that don't kind of fit that look that you're going. You're, I guess, you're searching for from them. What's the look? That's what I'm trying to figure Somebody out. Somebody call me and tell me because I would really love to know, so I can gracefully put you back in your place. Because everybody has one and maybe you don't know yours. Like, it's mind-boggling to me that these women work as hard as they do to overcome the things they do. Half of y'all can't run a block, Girl. let alone earn money while doing it. Um, and you couldn't dare hold up to the scrutiny or you'd be some type of addict, you know. Um, y'all with, be ready to backflip off the top steps. All the way down to the bottom. Mm-hmm. Um to think that you would do that to somebody who's already under so much professional pressure to perform, to be successful, to carry their families, whether they're losing. But you know what? Meg said the same thing. Meg the Stallion said the same thing. Mm-hmm. She said she was going through very similar comments of people attacking her for the things that she said and did and mm-hmm. the way she spoke and where she was from. Mm-hmm. So you guys um, are really just being disgusting humans, and I don't like it. At all. And I, and I, don't, I don't like the transphobic comments and the degrading things that y'all well she looks like a transvest how what the fuck hello is everything okay clearly not like wh- why what would possess you and i and i guess a lot of times people get behind the keyboards and they think because they're on the internet that they're untouchable and they can say whatever they want to say and I, it just it's it gets really disgusting like it gets really foul and I can't imagine like being Serena and seeing half of the things you know and not even just social media like in the media in general like I've I'm not mistaken one of her matches that she had she kind of threw her racket down and they made this type of like racist ass cartoons of giving her these oversized oh lips yeah I remember that and making her look like a monkey jumping up and down I can't imagine The scrutiny, like, I get it from my own people. I'm getting it from white media. Damn, can I catch a break? My mental health would be in shambles. Like, no cap. Like, my mental health would be in shambles. And then if she were to fall prey to any type of addiction, then you guys would be like, see? But you drive people to very dark places. And half Mm -hmm. of you can't work a corporate nine to five and cook dinner every night at the same time for your 1.5 kids. Like, this is insane. You You're mean? asking somebody to hold themselves to a standard that you could never even hold a candle to? And I don't feel like we they have those same expectations for other athletes that they deem, you know, conventionally attractive, which that can be subjective, but... Conventional? Who, who they feel like... Like, I've never had anybody talk about... Um, what's her name? What's that... Um, the Blazing Girl... Na- um, Naomi, Naomi uh-huh. I've never heard nobody say anything nasty about Naomi. Never called her ugly. Never said that she was masculine. None of the sort. So you've never heard because she probably would say differently. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's people that, and it really, it's probably come from the Japanese community because they could be quite racist when it comes to um, <sighs> mixed children. But like for the most part, like. At least from the black community, I haven't heard any, nobody say anything really about her. Really? Yeah, I haven't heard much. But when it comes to Serena and Venus and Shikari and all these other black athletes that they feel like don't fit this look, I guess, mm-hmm. it's nasty. It's so nasty. And How do you think we can fix it? I don't, I really don't know. I really sometimes wish social media just goes down. Mm-hmm. Just goes down for like a year so everybody can like be fucking for real. Because I feel like we're just so disillusioned about what we see mm-hmm. and the things that we ingest daily and the unrealistic standards of beauty that we see that we're just like our brains are mush. 
And that, like, when we see people, like, even people with makeup on, and, like, I, when I used to be a makeup artist, people would be like, I want my skin to look like this. Like, baby, that's Photoshop. <laughs> like, your skin looks like a crunch bar, and that's what it's going to look like. <laughs> don't matter what foundation I put on it, that's and it don't matter what I use, what I don't use. That's what that's your true. skin is underneath this makeup. And people are so harsh. Like, they see Getty images, and they're like, oh, my God, look at her face. What the fuck do y'all think they be putting on Instagram? Why do you think we got all these filters? That's true. Y'all forget what real skin look like because y'all so used to seeing Photoshop skin that y'all don't know what real skin looks like, which is, lets me know how detached we are from reality. That when you see somebody, a, specifically a celebrity with blemishes, you know, something slightly unblended, a slightly unbalanced eyebrow, y'all are just so mortified. When y'all looking 10 times is worse. Listen, I just want y'all to know that you might catch me with an unbalanced eyebrow every once in a while. Yeah. Because I'm going to slap it on the car. Get the best you got. One of my friends actually uses tattoo eyebrows and they look impeccable on her. Like, mm. I do mean impeccable. Like, you would never know those on her eyebrows. They're licking stick. Pow. Tattoos, hey, but what are the sticker? What are the, how does it stay on longevity? But... Oh, it looks great, except when they get wet. See? So, like, if they get wet, like, too much moisture, like, maybe caught in a heavy rainstorm, had to walk a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm, they might move. I don't need my eyebrows slide down on my cheek. I don't they need They might that. move a little bit. But they look impeccable. Mm-hmm. Um, and on your daily wear and tear, when I tell you, you would never know. And they look impeccable, mm-hmm. and I love them. Like, I was like, are you serious? Like, mm-hmm. I buy a Catrillion, I'm in a pack. And I'm like, I was wondering. Like, they like, perfectly laminated eyebrows. Is she, like, got her real ones on? She got some, but you know how some people like don't have I'm as much them. hair in yeah. some areas. And so she's like, I just don't have a lot of hair on my eyebrows anymore. She's like, I don't know what happened. And she's not old. She's young like us. But when I tell you, I was like, these look good. I would have never guessed. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Y'all over here believing, you know, it's the Wizard of Oz around here. You don't know what you're going to get with us. We are doing the best we can keeping Shit. this together. And y'all going to appreciate it and move on. Oh, and I... I send so much love out here to some of these celebrities that have to deal with the scrutiny. The scrutiny. Because y'all was cutting up by what Beyonce's hair? Y'all thought she had no hair? Y'all was swearing Beyonce was bleaching herself. Oh, yeah, because she was sometimes wearing makeup that was a little lighter. Yeah, and then lighting. And like, I don't think people realize like certain lighting, hair, outfit colors, I can look lighter than what I am. That's true. I've seen photos of you like that. Yeah. Like, I, people think sometimes I'm like, oh, you're brown. I'm like, if you saw me in person, I am not brown. <laughs> like, I am far from brown. I am dark skinned and I'm proud of it. But it just certain lighting, certain colors, certain ways you wear your hair, it it be like that. But just the scrutiny just is so terrible. And like, I would almost be scared to try anything new. Like, I would have to try it out in private for like a couple weeks to see if I like it and so I could be secure in it before I come out in public. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Not me. I'll slap all of it on. Like, let's roll. <laughs> That's me. Like, mm, I think I like it. We're going to try it. I, I need some time because, like, I need to be strong. Because the first time somebody tell me I I look like Holiday Heart or something, I'll be like, all right, go ahead and delete it. Go ahead and delete it. <laughs> tell my team, delete the picture today. Now. I couldn't handle it. Holiday Heart. Because, like, and you know what? I had so I had red hair one time, and this is where the holiday heart reference came from. I had red hair one time, and so I didn't like brush it good that day. And I was out and about, and I was talking to this guy, and he was really handsome. And I he was at the store, and I and we were just like talking because we were talking about socks. And I was like, yeah, these, these socks are really nice. He was like, you look like somebody, and I can't put my finger on it. And I sat there, and I was like. <clears throat> What do you mean by that? Do you know he put out a picture of Wanda? From what? Holiday Heart. <laughs> Shut up. He pulled out the picture of Wanda with the did red you, wing. Did you die? I would Crystal, I, I wanted to shrivel melted. up and disappear. Like, Oh, no. If I was a vampire, I want the sun to hit me right now. Right then, right there. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I can't believe it. There's no way can I picture it. And I was just 
like in disbelief because I was like, you confidently said he, he kept looking. It was almost like the Erica Badu and like AK thing when she kept saying you look like somebody and it was Jerry the Mouse. That's the vibes that it was happening when me and was talking because he kept saying like you look like somebody. I'm like, oh my God, he probably about to pull out Raven Goodwin because like a lot of times people see me, they think I look like Raven Goodwin, which gets on my nerves. Um, but I thought that's he was going to pull out. No. He pulled out Wanda from Holiday Heart with the red wig. <laughs> you childish for this. He's childish for that. That was so mean. If somebody put that on social media, girl, I would have backflipped off. I would have threw my phone across the floor and backflip off the stairs. Listen, one time when I was younger, I tried on this dress and it was like my grandparents, like, I don't know, they were having a vow renewal or something. And my brothers are complete. Listen, one of my brothers is no longer with us, but those fools are childish. And so I'm trying on dresses, dresses at my grandparents' house, my mother. And I'm, I put on this one dress and I was like, what do y'all think? I'm like, go show your brothers. They'll tell you the truth. Like, let's see what they think about the dress. I should have known that was a setup for failure because these fools are out of control. My brother said, you look like you're stuffed in sausage casing because the dress was tan. Mm. When I tell you, they motherfucking screamed and Brothers. busted out and laughed like I just laughed at Andy. Brothers make you want to vomit. Who unzipped that shit and threw it to the forest I corner? I started crying. Was me. I, I did. I, I said, why you make me put this on? Scream. Listen, we all laughed together so freaking hard because the dress was lined so it wasn't going nowhere. You know, as a woman, if you ever wore a dress that has a liner inside of it, they fit very, very snug. And uh, my tatas wasn't letting that dress move, baby. Anyway, sausage casing, boudin all day, baby. We from oh we from the south, God, Creole Cajun chest. city. And so, let me tell you something. If you think how they heart hurt your feelings, boo, until you've been said that you've been stuffed in boudin casing, aka uh. sausage casing, in a dress <laughs> by your own family, Serena. I hear your plight, sis. I stand with you. I am so sorry. <laughs> Because I understand having brothers, brothers do not hold back. They're awful. They do not. Like, I vomit. I vomit every time. <laughs> They're awful. It, you know what, though? They're going to keep you humble. They okay. do. In, in return, humble them as well. Call them ugly frequently. I do. You're right. You know, you're right. You have to. They think they're real fine. And so you're like, mm, I know what you really look like. So, I mean, you know, it's life. Paul Serena, she just probably, you know, she has sisters. She, you know, did she have a brother too? I think so. Okay, he needs to call her. Be like, nah, sis. Like, brothers to keep it right with you. I just want people, just the black community, to just stop and just put your arms around her and love on her. True. Because everybody's been so cruel to her from young age to now. And I just want people just to love on her and stop being so cruel and stop being so superficial. Because your mama's sitting over there with a mustache and a mo bigger than God knows what. With talking coming with, with a new port out the side of her mouth and you got the audacity to get on, on Beyonce's internet and call somebody else ugly. Mm, like, that's crazy to me. That's true, because some of y'all mamas do look questionable. Okay. I'm just saying. And y'all, some of y'all mamas look like Holiday Heart. But, you know what? This is Andy. <sighs> this is Crystal, and I have seen some of y'all mamas and I'm like, ooh. And I don't say nothing, but that's so sweet because I'm from the South and that's all we know to say when we think it's ugly. Anyways, so... Um, <laughs> It happens. Y'all better leave my girl Serena alone. Period. So I'm Crystal. And I'm Andy. And we're done cutting up. Because here at the Uncut Chronicles, that's what we're giving it to you. Raw and uncut. And this ain't shit for your mammy. But this one, let your mommy hear if she a little ugly. At all. Hmm. Stop looking at Serena's booty. Period. Peace. The Uncut Chronicles is part of the Breaking Ice Building Bridges community podcast platform brought to you by Possibilities. Possibilities.